Hey everyone, this is Justin from Analytics Talk. I wanted to take a quick second and show you a really cool new feature in Google Analytics called Advanced Segments. Advanced Segments are a way for us to filter all data in a profile and view only a specific segment of our traffic. So let's go in and create a new advanced segment so we're only looking at traffic uh, in this profile that has been on the site more than 10 seconds. So I can access my advanced segments in two spots. I can go in through this advanced segments link here in the navigation, which will bring me to my advanced segments management window. Or I can go through my advanced segments uh, drop down here in the top right corner. You'll notice here uh, we actually have our, the ability to apply the segments that we create, and we'll look at that in a second. Right now we just want to create a new advanced segment. So again, this new advanced segment is going to filter all of the data in our profile and it's only going to show visits that last more than 10 seconds. To build an advanced segment, we drag and drop things called dimensions and metrics into this interface. A dimension is an attribute of our website visitors or the visits that they generate. So for example, you can see that uh, we have dimensions that include our traffic sources like keywords, mediums. Uh, even things like ad slot position if someone's coming from AdWords. We also have dimensions that pertain to our visitors in terms of a geographic region like city or hour of the day that they visit. As for metrics, we have things that are fairly basic like bounces, entrances, exits. Um, so metrics are really all different types of counts. So what we want is to find time on site. So I'm going to actually use this cool little filter tool You'll notice that now uh, it's normalized and created a list here rather than grouping things. So I'm going to look for a time on site and I just drag this metric to my interface. And now you'll notice we have a condition and a value. For metrics, the conditions are your standard mathematical um, uh, comparison functions. So we can do a less than, an equal to, or greater than. So I want greater than a value of 10 seconds. And now I can test my segment. So what Google Analytics is going to do is going to go to all my data for my time period that I'm currently looking at, and it's going to say we had a total of almost 30,000 visits, and almost 16,000 met the criteria that we created in our segment. Now, our segments can get really complicated. This is one metric with a condition. Uh, we could add an or statement or an and statement here and, and uh, daisy chain different metrics or dimensions together. So if I wanted to say time on site greater than 10 seconds, and let's say uh, medium was paid search. I can say, pull my medium in here. And you'll notice for a dimension, now we have more comparisons. So it's just mathematics, we're just limited to greater than, equals to, or less than. Um, but when we do a medium, we have much more options because we can do strings. And what I wanted to show you guys here is when I entered a value in, this little field here is pretty darn smart. It goes back out to the data for GA and it looks up all the values in my reports for medium and creates a list for me. So I want to choose CPC for paid search. So if I created the segment, uh, I would then be able to look at all the data in my profile based on this criteria. I want to keep this a little bit simpler and just look at time on site greater than 10 seconds. So let's name this time on site greater than 10 seconds, create our segment. It's expecting an or here, so I'm going to delete this. So now I can create my segment. And you'll see now in my list of custom segments, I have time on site greater than 10 seconds. Click to apply, and now when we view the data in this profile, it will all be segmented by our criteria. And there we have it. Now, you probably notice that things don't look too different here. Uh, some of our metrics have changed dramatically, like our bounce rate has gone to zero. Um, but everything else looks pretty normal. Well, what's really cool about these advanced segments is right now we're just looking at all of the data for time on site greater than 10 seconds. I can actually pull in other segments into the interface. So let's say I want to see my custom segment along with all visits. GA is going to go out. And now you can see we're looking at two segments of traffic at the same time. We're looking at all visits in blue, and my custom segment, time on site greater than 10 seconds, in orange. The interface has completely changed now to include both of those pieces of data. What's really neat is that 
this advanced segment can be applied to all of my historical data. So if I go back in time, I can continuously apply all of these advanced segments that I create. This is really big because now we don't have to worry about reprocessing processing historical data or setting up lots of profiles and filters. To me, this is a game changer. Along with a lot of the other changes we're seeing today, this is dramatic because it really does change the way that we configure Google Analytics and the way that we get out our data. So I hope you guys like advanced segmentation. Take some time to poke around with it. It's really neat, uh, and I think you'll really enjoy the resulting data that you get from this tool.